thank you for the, uh, staying after your support. Some of the folks from our church getting baptized. And um, I just want to share just, uh, just some important information about baptism. Baptisms for anyone who puts their faith in Jesus Christ, uh, that is the number one requirement. That once a person uh, acknowledges the Lord and Savior um, into their life, um, that Jesus Christ died for their sins and rose from the dead, that the next step is baptism. Now, there's another scripture that talks about how those who believed were baptized. And so that is the, the correct order. Now, what if uh, we've been baptized as an infant? Uh, we were christened. And I always like to say, as someone um, who was christened as an infant, this doesn't take the place of that. You thank God for whatever upbringing your family gave you. This is your own decision to step forward in, in obedience to Christ. And so baptism is a step of obedience, following even what Jesus did, because Jesus was baptized. Also, Christ commanded that the church would offer this to its congregants as a way of their connecting with him. And so I like to think baptism, um, it symbolizes that we're connected with God horizontally, and then we, we connect with, uh, vertically rather, and then we connect with the church horizontally, the picture of the cross. But perhaps the most beautiful understanding of baptism is the very act of it by what it means. The word baptism means to dip under, thus the, the pool that we have. And in scripture, uh, when people would be baptized, they would go under the water and they would come up. And it was symbolic that their sins were washed away. How beautiful is that? that if we place our faith in Christ, our sins are washed away. And then the other beautiful area of significance is that one day we all die, but we're risen um, because of what Christ has done, because he rose from the dead, because he defeated death. Death will be defeated for you and I one day. And so that is very much so captures the picture of our faith. And so it's always a privilege to offer baptisms. Uh, as was said earlier, we have three candidates uh, here in uh, the afternoon. And then we have uh, several folks who are getting baptized after the 6 o'clock service. And so a very exciting day. So today we, had, we, had, we were singing, we prayed, we had a sermon, we had communion, an offering and baptism. I tell you what, this is really a good day here. <laughs> we, went to church, right? we went to church today. We went to church today. All right, so we're going to call up our first candidate and please give her a hand. Sandra, would you come up here? Okay, Sandra, it's my privilege uh, this afternoon at Crossroads Church uh, to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bearing the likeness of Christ's death, and raise the glory of his resurrection. Sometimes we want to wait uh, for the perfect circumstances to be baptized, and um, I like to think that uh, the best time to do it is now. You don't want to delay your baptism. As I said, uh, baptism is a picture of your faith in Jesus Christ. When you put your faith in Christ, all of heaven rejoices. And I think when people get baptized, uh, heaven rejoices as well as it's a beautiful symbol of your faith. And so our next candidate for baptism is Joanne. Why don't we give her a hand? Come on up, Joanne. Joanne, it's my privilege today at Crossroads to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bearing the likeness of Christ as death, and raise the glory of the resurrection. Ralph, it's great to be here with you. How, how long have you been coming uh, to the church? About well, two and a half years now. Okay. Great. great. Mary got baptized last year. I didn't, wasn't sure I was quite ready, so I waited. I had a vision about a month ago. I was listening to Ray, and all of a sudden I saw a wall come down. And I realized that Jesus sent the wall down to let me know my past was on the other side. This is all my future. Amen. 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 And why do you come today to be baptized? Because I believe in Jesus and I want to follow him. Amen. 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 Uh, all right. Let's take my arm, Ralph. Just squat down just a little bit there. Ralph, it's my privilege uh, this afternoon at Crossroads Church to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bearing the likeness of Christ in death, and raise the glory of his resurrection. You know, a lot of times, um, not that you, you come to church, everything's going to go smooth for you and right for you after you leave church, uh, but there's just something about walking in the faith, walking in the Spirit, and taking the steps that God wants you to take. And baptism is that step. And so I encourage you, if you're considering baptism, uh, we could still do baptisms today, uh, later today, or even later now, um, you, we could, we're, we're happy to do it. Or if uh, you're still praying about it, this evening we have it after the six o'clock service, and we will be offering them again at the beginning of the year, probably like the end of January. Uh, it's nice to do baptisms after the turn of the new year, so we'll give it a couple, four or five weeks, and then offer another one. 
but again, I want to thank each person for being here. And uh, why don't we close with a word of prayer, okay, and give thanks to God. It's already been a wonderful day. Father in heaven, we thank you for our service earlier. We thank you for each person today that came forward to be baptized. We thank you for what our baptism and our Christian faith symbolizes, that you died for our sins and you rose from the dead. We thank you, O oh God, that it's not about uh, how long the testimony is or how eloquent we speak, but it's about what you have done. And we thank you for the cross and the empty tomb. And we thank you for the picture of baptism, uh, that all of our sins at the cross were washed away and paid for in full. And we thank you, O oh God, that even after physical death, we are promised eternal life. We thank you, O oh God, for our Christian faith. We commit these prayers and this service before you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen.